Yo, Jungi Han. If you're here drinking by yourself, I might as well join you. Is that so? Well, I have no reason to tell you no. Do as you like. By the way, Kasuga-san, there's something I should tell you. Hmm? What's up? I was contacted by someone in the Komijuru. I had been told a group of people had been looking into me as of late. They seem to have learned that Jungi Han is somewhere in Ijincho. No fooling. What's that all about? No, we don't have much to go on at the moment. Nonetheless, we verified suspicious activity in my wake. That said, if they come seeking hostility, you and the others may be dragged into it along with me. You know I don't mind getting dragged into your bullshit. We're tight. That's precisely why I don't want to trouble you. Don't be stupid. What's a friend for if you can't cause him some trouble every now and then? I welcome it with open arms, in fact. I can handle whatever shady shit you can throw at me. <laughs> Such enthusiasm. I can't say I'm not amused. So, any guess as to who these guys might be? I can't be 100% certain, but it's highly likely that they're remnants of the Jingon Mafia. Jingon Mafia? Then they're basically old allies, right? It's hard to say. To them, I'm just cannon fodder impersonating their dead boss. Perhaps they see that as unforgivable, in which case their goal would be to punish me. Punish? It's possible they'd go so far as to kill me. Then couldn't we just avoid all this shit by saying you're not Jungi Han anymore? Maybe so. It's gotta be weird being another person forever. It's probably best to just be yourself, right? If I were you, I'd try to get my old name and face back. Hmm. <laughs> a name is one thing. A face, however, it's not something you can change time and time again. Moreover, I'm still waiting for more information on my pursuers. We shouldn't need to take action just yet. Well, it's your call, so I'm good with that. But won't it be a drag if you get caught with your pants down and you're left wishing you would have been ready? <laughs> right. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Man, you're always playing it so fucking cool. Would it kill you to listen to someone else for once? I'd ask that you refrain from praise. You'll only embarrass me. It wasn't a damn compliment.
Chief. Hmm? My friend's got some questions about the day I was dumped in this town. Yeah. I want to know why you didn't just abandon Ichiban or dump him at a hospital. If you don't mind telling us, I'm sure we'd all appreciate it. I see. Fine. I'll tell you. It's as good a time as any. Uh, uh, what? There's an old tradition in this homeless camp. A responsibility passed down through the chiefs for many years. What responsibility? On occasion, we were asked, we... Dispose of bodies. What? Bodies? Yeah. There's a Yakuza family from Kamurocho who pays us to do it. They're called Arakawa. Arakawa? Seriously? They... Uh, was this going on while they were still Tojo? I don't know every detail, but yes. The arrangement existed at that time. It existed before I started living here. We've dealt with all kinds of bodies, whether they've been shot, stabbed, beaten, no matter how nasty. We dug holes and buried them under garbage. Who knows how many are there now? Back during the bubble, we got one every month, or so I was told. Since I became chief, there's only been three. Damn, Urakawa the assassin. But there's one more secret rule. It applies to anyone the Arakawa bring here alive. Ah, uh, secret within the secret. Great. What happens if they bring someone alive? We're supposed to give the person medical aid, then let them go free, while pretending they're dead. Uh, what's up with that? In the criminal underworld, there's always people wanting to fake their own death. Gamblers, guys on the run. Anyone who's afraid someone will hurt them. They send people like that here, and we honor the secret agreement. I think it might actually be a service the Arakawa family provides, but obviously they don't advertise it. So it ended up being a very rare event. Is that agreement why you saved me? This live body rule? <sighs> you got it. What sort of guy dropped me off here? I mean, probably just someone from the family. I had no reason to check or anything. The guy lugged you out of the trunk of a car. You were covered in blood. He paid me and left. Didn't say a single thing the whole time. I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Huh? What the...? Hmm? After Arakawa-san shot me, I think he said something. I think it was... I'm counting on you, Ichi. What would that even mean? No clue. But the more I think about it, the more I'm sure he said that. Look, Ichiban. What? I don't want to dash your hopes or anything. When you were dumped here, you were on death's doorstep. You were only alive because everything I did went exactly the way we needed it to. But it could have easily gone a different way. I know you want to trust Arakawa, but... I think... Arakawa-san had to shoot me. All the other Yakuza at that meeting were watching him. Huh? Never mind. You don't get it. Forget I said anything.
Man, we sure get around, don't we? No, actually, I've been thinking of going on a diet lately, so this is perfect. You? On a diet? What brought that on? Well, if I'm being honest, it's because I added another notch onto my belt. I'm getting fatter by the second these days, so I figured I'd better whip myself into shape. If it's weight loss you're after, I can be of service. Oh, you uh, got some diet regime I can follow? Indeed. The first thing to do is cut out carbs. This is a fairly large chain. Tell me what you got. Well. Let's go. You sure you can beat me? get around, don't we? No, actually, I've been thinking of going on a diet lately, so this is perfect. You? On a diet? What brought that on? Well, if I'm being honest, it's because I added another notch onto my belt. I'm getting fatter by the second these days, so I figured I'd better whip myself into shape. If it's weight loss you're after, I can be of service. Oh, you uh, got some diet regime I can follow? Indeed. The first thing to do is cut out carbs. You'll see a fairly large change just from that. You'll need to refrain from eating things like onigiri, bread, or noodles. <laughs> if that's all it's gonna take, then sign me up. <laughs> you say that, but you'd totally try to sneak some bread in. That's where I come in. Using the Komijo surveillance system, we can observe Adachi-san cheating on his diet. But what happens then? We get out the bowguns. Ooh, a life-or-death diet. Good luck, Adachi-san. <laughs> I think I'll stick to running around. Talk about a waste of the Comey Jewel's time.
Let's do this! Oh, we'll grab them right away! Mata, né? Later.
Wanna go for a drive? Let's do this!
they're ready to eat dust! 